Hello video editors. I'm Sally Ali and welcome to Sally Tutorials. Here on this channel you'll find everything you need to know about creating better video, photography and more. So if you're new here I'd encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I publish new tutorials every week. In this film or X tutorial you're going to learn how to add motion to your photos to create unique and stylish slideshows. So let's get started. Drag the photo you want to put in the first photo of the slideshow to the timeline. Click on the photo and click on the crop tool. Select 16 to 9 in the image ratio, and crop. Click OK. Go to Effects. And search here for Square Blur. Drag this effect to the second track of the timeline. Double click on the effect. And set the size of the effect to 4 here. Click OK. Go back to the effect. And search for Bokeh Blur 2. Drag the effect to the third track of the timeline. Now click on Media and drag the same image that we have in the background to the fourth track. Click on the image and click on the crop tool. Keep the image ratio of this track 1 to 1. And do OK. Now double click on this image and open the transform tab. Set the scale of this image to 80. OK. Go to Effects again. And search here Border. Drag this effect to the image above the timeline and apply it to the image. Double click on the image. Minimize the Transform tab. And open the Video Effects tab here. Setting the border inside the Video Effects tab. Keep the border size to 5. Also keep the blur level at 5. Then click on the animation above. And click Customize. Now we will create motion with the keyframe. Place the playhead slightly ahead of the start, and add a keyframe here. And then move the playhead to the start. Set the scale to 50 in this keyframe. and place 230 in the position Y box. So it will create a motion like this. And then place the playhead just before the end. And add a keyframe here. And then place the playhead in the end. And place the position Y box minus 230 in this keyframe. And set the scale to 50. So we made a slideshow of the first picture like this. Click OK. So after the slideshow of the first photo, let's create a slideshow of the second photo. Now click on Media. Drag the photo to the timeline. And copy both of these effects. Click on the second track and paste the effects. And drag the same image that we have in the background to the fourth track. Click Crop Tool. And select the photo ratio 1 to 1. Click OK. Double click on the photo and click on the Image tab at the top. Open the Transform tab. Set the scale to 80. Then click on the animation above. And add a keyframe just before the start of the photo. And the second keyframe has to be put in the start. Set the scale to 50 in this keyframe.
and place the position Y box minus 230 in this keyframe. So it will create a motion like this. There should be a short space between the start and end keyframes of both photos. And then place the playhead just before the end. And add a keyframe here. And then place the playhead in the end. And place the position Y box 230 in this keyframe. And set the scale to 50. Click OK. Go to Effects again. And search here Border. Drag this effect to the image above the timeline and apply it to the image. Double click on the image. Click on the image tab above. Minimize the transform tab. And open the video effects tab here. Setting the border inside the video effects tab. Keep the border size to 5. Also keep the blur level at 5. Click OK. So after the slideshow of the first and second photos, let's create a slideshow of the third photo. Drag the photo to the timeline. All you have to do is set the keyframes in the third and fourth photo slideshows. The rest of the effects and ratios are the same way we did in the first two photos. Place the playhead slightly ahead of the start, and add a keyframe here. And then move the playhead to the start. And place the position Xbox minus 330 in this keyframe. Set the scale to 50 in this keyframe. And then place the playhead just before the end. And add a keyframe here. And then place the playhead in the end. And place the position Xbox 330 in this keyframe. And set the scale to 50. After the slideshow of the third photo, let's create a slideshow of the fourth photo. Place the playhead slightly ahead of the start. And add a keyframe here. And then move the playhead to the start. And place the position Xbox 330 in this keyframe. Set the scale to 50 in this keyframe. And then place the playhead just before the end. And add a keyframe here. And then place the playhead in the end. And place the position Xbox minus 330 in this keyframe. And set the scale to 50. Click OK. Now it is time to put transitions on the photos of the tracks below. Click Transitions. And apply the transitions you like here between the photos. Then there is the last thing I think is necessary, and that is, move the keyframes away from the start and end of the images. Finally if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up YouTube will favor my educational content, if you do, so many thanks in advance. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, so you are notified when I make new tutorials every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.